Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm very excited to once again be talking about aquatic plants, specifically tissue culture plants found at Petco. What do you really get for $10 and what do they actually look like in there? Well, yes, very excited to talk about aquatic plants. I love tissue culture plants because I think you just get a whole lot more. Yes, they're smaller, but as you can see, I love nano tanks, which are smaller tanks and they call for smaller plants. And I have an aquatic plant farm that I will be putting these into. I really like to see plants grow. It's, it's I don't know, it's the gardener in me. So for $10, you can get a bunch of little plants or of course you can get their tube plants. Like this is an Anubius that's uh, pretty nicely sized, which is obviously gonna have a bigger impact right off the bat in your tank. These are fun too, but today I'm talking about the tissue culture plants because I'm very curious how they do over time. So even if you don't have, for my over the pond friends in England and Scotland and, and everywhere, if you don't have a pet coat or a pet smart, that's okay. Just follow along and you can see updates uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to do another uh, plant update on some of my other plants that I planted a while back and We'll see how these guys do. I'm very curious to see how they look in here, but these are all Easy plants that means like about six hours of light and I don't run co2. I Don't run high light. So this plant farm my aquatic plant farm otherwise known as green acres has a Phoenix Stingray light, which is a great light, and I think it should accommodate nicely these plants that either like low to medium light. The three that I have that I can frequently find at my Petco, I know they're all different, are I got two background plants and one mid-ground plant. This first one is, uh, this is the Anubius round leaf, otherwise known as gold coin. I'm curious to see how these guys look in here and very, very excited to see how fast they grow. Anubius is not a fast grower, but I'm curious to see how well they do. The second one that I have is, it's my latest obsession. S. Repens is a great, great, great mid-ground plant. I don't know if I'm gonna plant it. I tend to do things a little differently. It's kind of like the other aquascaping channel here, but uh, the way I like to use these, you're gonna see some videos coming up where I'm gonna be using a significant amount of S. Repens because it is such a cool plant. I'm hoping all these guys look good in, in there, but uh, it seems to have a pretty decent amount in there. The last plant that I have here is Rotella rotundifolia, which is a great background plant. Um, I think you're, if you're familiar with it, you probably already love it. It's, it's a, a great plant and you get a significant amount in here. Very curious to see how these guys do. So I'm gonna take these out of the packages and see how they look. Now, the other thing that I've noticed at Petco lately is that they've changed their packaging a little bit. Keep this in mind. They used to have, it's a little cup and then it's just like a little seal that you just peel off the plastic and there you go. Now they have an actual tight, like airtight lid. So you can actually reuse these containers. I thought that was pretty nice. But let's see what we get for 10 bucks. See, these are the new containers that I was talking about. And so you don't spend too much time trying to figure out how to open it because you can't open it here. Little trick here for you. Look for this little, this little notch right here. See, and then you can easily take the lid off there. Oh, look in there. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of a takeout container. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so cute? It's like a little tiny garden. I'd like to plant these just like this in a little circle. I probably will at some point. So cute. That's Reppens. This one has a uh, seal, 
Some do, some don't. Okay. Oh, so actually all three of these have completely different containers, but they're all like sealed tops. We, oh, like I said, I love this plant. Alrighty, this is what we've got here. Now, uh, I'll flash up a picture of the, uh, I had gotten another Anubias uh, about a month ago, about a month ago or so. I'll link that video down below for the Anubias variegated that I found at Petco and was so excited about. That one, I had five, five uh, individual plants that looked absolutely beautiful. They were all like perfect. Very happy with those. These, uh, I have four, however, Look at this one. Oh my goodness. This one's actually it's about as good as having two. Isn't that just the sweetest looking plant? I just want to plant it in one of my terrariums like that. I have done that before. Just taken the little tiny Anubias and just put it in a little terrarium. As long as it stays humid, it gets uh, quite happy, especially with ferns. But look at that. Isn't that just absolutely adorable? So that one's worth, worth two right there. So for the Anubias, gold coin, uh, round leaf, whatever you would like to call it. These look really, really great. They have little, little tiny ones coming from the bottom. Um, leaves really look pretty good. There's only a couple that look a little uh, washed out. This one right here, this one can get pulled off. But that's the great thing about taking off some of the leaves in Anubias. It just encourages more growth. And we will see how these guys fill in. Now moving on to the Rotala. This is probably my least favorite to get as a as a tissue culture compared to the larger plants just because it is a little bit more difficult. I, I mean I love the plant but it is a little bit more difficult to get all the gel off because it really settles in between all of these. So I usually rinse it off a couple of times. This is just the first round but you can see they all look really good and you get a very nice quantity that you can spread out all throughout your tank as opposed to these where you're getting smaller clumps. But these are really, uh, they look pretty good. Okay, now last, my favorite here, S. Repens. I got four and the ones that I've gotten previously, I also believe I've gotten four, but they look really, really good. They all have multiple shoots. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So many little, little shoots, it's like a little tiny, it's like a little tiny bush in a little garden. Oh my gosh, you're gonna see some, some scapes coming up where I'm gonna use a lot of this and very fun because that's just such a beautiful miniature plant. And I like to use this in the mid ground, sometimes even close to the foreground. And I like to keep them small and just kind of little bunches of them as opposed to letting them get taller. And I be careful when you're taking off the, the gel because I found this little guy he was just a little guy growing separately and he almost got stuck in with the gel that I was throwing out. Here they are all tucked into the tank. This is my aquatic plant farm, otherwise known as Green Acres. And you, the crypts that are already in here are growing in really great. So it's kind of like a mini plant update here for the first round that went in. And I've just tucked them in. This is a fluval stratum which does really great. And the S. repens, I planted just the way I love planting this, and that's basically in mass. I like it all clumped together because it looks just really nice, nice and fluffy, and I love it in the mid-ground just like this. I'm very curious how fast this grows in, but I think it looks great. Even though this tank is just an aquatic plant farm, it's not really meant for looks, it's just to grow out a lot of my plants. I actually like how this particular plant looks in this tank. The Anubias, nothing fancy, just glued onto a piece of rock on the other side of the tank and really just right in front of the little sea of Rotala, which is lining the back as it gets taller. That will also be fun to see. So keep in mind, I'll be updating you and I appreciate you watching the video.